morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 100 and five. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. is a high security area beyond Sector C. You will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board if a high security train. If you have submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness.
have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handles handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. And you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you. We had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too. I but think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Sergeant Fleistad, report to checkpoint Bravo. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Can you access the You'll mail, just sir? have to wait until after the test. Ah, Gordon Freeman. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Good morning, there Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this what? weekend. I've already made plans! Uh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pet book pizza in my near future. Good morning, Gordon. Two, sub level three. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? Hopefully things will die down around here soon. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Living in the past. That experiment is single handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Maxwell's demon, it's cold in here. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom and split. You better make like diarrhea and run. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis? Preposterous.
to rat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet- Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Gordon! This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Hello, Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's I sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going huh. on with our equipment? Huh. It was... Never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Hmm. 
this could take a bit longer than I anticipated. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an Please. intern. You do very meaningful work Really? Here. Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for huh. myself. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had that any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 it's years. high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen and yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Gordon, are you not hearing me? Climb up and start the rotors, please. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long it will take. But please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no, it's well with an acceptable doubt. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non standard specimen. Go ahead,
listen. I, I tried the one. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Uh. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retro scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? Gordon? 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 Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Roger that. Let's run like hell. Shoot the damn thing! One down and that was my number. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. This is Sector C Anomalous Material. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation. Possible here. biocontaminations. Thank <laughs> you. 